Just checking in. Uh, stopped in to smoke a blunt with y'all on this June team. Feel where I'm coming from. Just want to impart some knowledge on y'all. Some encouragement and shit, you know. I mean, you can be anything you want to be, do anything you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fix your mind to it, push your line and get to it. You know, I done had a gang of setbacks in my life. Uh, shortcomings, you know. We know we ain't giving the same chance as the next people when we do our thing. Um, but what we gonna do? Sit up and cry about that for the rest of our life? You know what I'm saying? You know, not saying ignore it. You don't know, never forget. You know what I mean? Uh, but what you do is you put your best foot forward into making good things happen for yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, you see this here? I say Big Trey D Sun Rocks. You know what I mean? Uh, I touched down six years ago. And uh, shit, a year later, hey, me and my boy Louis B came with a plan to make the bomb and strain the weed hybrid uh, available. And we did that. And we've been in business for five years now. And, uh, you know, it all started with a dream, like I just said on that verse, you know. Uh, you got to believe in yourself first and foremost, man, you know. True, we was a slave, but we ain't no motherfucking slaves now. How about that? We ain't been slaves in a long time, but a lot of us are still mentally enslaved by uh, comparing ourselves to the achievements of others, comparing our achievements to what others have achieved or accomplished in their life. And everybody has their own path in life. You know what I'm saying? You have yours, the next man has his. Uh, everybody ain't gonna be afforded and accorded the same things that the next person has. But being that we were uh, deprived as a people the same opportunities as most others, then that just means we have to work harder to get back on top. You know, we come from kings and queens. You know, yeah. I read my history books. I know who I am. I know where I come from. You should do the same. You know, knowledge is the key. Knowledge is the key to prevent you from making mistakes that was made in the past and from not being able to envision your future correctly. You know, I come from a motherfucking thug background, you know, I'm a gangster, all this. So I feel the personal responsibility to share this knowledge with y'all that I was able to acquire this wisdom through experience, you know, through a lot of hard times, through a lot of trials and tribulations. So that's why I get on here and holler at y'all anyway, you know what I'm saying? I feel it's my obligation and my duty because you shouldn't have to learn from your own mistakes. I made enough to tell you which ones not to make, and if you pay attention, you probably won't do that. Um, you know, you got to keep that drive that that makes you go even further than normal. You know, you have to see where you want to go and really put both of your best feet forward to get in there. 
you know, remember, don't nobody owe you shit, you know, first and foremost. Uh, don't, 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 don't spend life with your hand out, because you'll never get to the highest peak exhibiting that kind of behavior. You know, you got to believe in yourself and your own abilities. You have to come with your own strategies and tactics. Uh, like I said, you know, we might have come from slavery in this country, but we ain't slaves no more. You know, we still disenfranchised. You know, we still get murdered by the pigs, you know, disproportionately. And, uh... You know, we still got to do three times as much to make it. But that's just the way the situation is right now. God willing with these new uh, revelations and, and uh, the rest of these dirty cops, you know, that's been uh, perpetuating that racism and shit through the force and making black people not like police as a rule. Hopefully things will start changing, you know. Uh, I think if we get this redneck up out the White House this year, things will look a lot better for us in the coming years. I don't believe nobody that's not black has our full interests at heart because you gotta experience our experience to feel how we feel and perceive things the way that we do. But I can say this, I appreciate all the support from all the races out there uh, getting involved in Black Lives Matter protests and um, petitions and, you know, um, defunding police, all that. You know, y'all lovely, man. Y'all some lovely people inside. And may God bless y'all. Uh, my thing is... For us as a people, uh, we just got to do a lot better, you know, uh, with the way we treat each other, you know, with the way we approach one another, you know, with the way we interact with each other, you know, and do business and support one another and, you know, just our unity as a whole, you know. I wore this deliberately, this color, you know, because, you know, I see brothers sometimes, oh, you know, oh, not you in red, uh, you know, uh, that's the first time I seen you in red and all this. I'm gonna say nothing but a color, you know, and it looks quite good on me when I rock it, to be honest. But uh, the same way that blue is a color, you know what I mean? It's just a color. I don't let it define me. I don't let it prevent me from reaching out across, you know, uh, the, the color line to the next brother. You know, I got Damu homies that, you know, that get down with me at the drop of a hat, and I know it. You know, and shout out to y'all, man. I love y'all. You know, I really fuck with y'all like y'all fuck with me. You know, the same way I got Crips out there that know I'm a stomp down Crip. I ain't got no smut on my name. Ain't never ran out, ain't never told on nobody, you know. Uh, you know, ain't never not put my work in when I was called to. You know, I'm a front line general. I got to be a general by putting mines in. That's not to brag, that's just saying, you know, I'm authentic. But my message today, you know, for this Juneteenth, is, you know, let's just start showing each other a whole lot more love, man. You know what I'm saying? If you got a personal issue with a motherfucker, man, handle that shit, get that shit out the way. That's how it's supposed to go. You don't supposed to let that shit linger or try to get other motherfuckers to turn against motherfuckers because you're against them. Handle your business if, if that's the, what the situation calls for. Otherwise, you know, Give a brother a nod, man. Give him an embrace. You know what I'm saying? Tell a sister, you know, how you doing today, sister, you know? And if you're able to, you know, provide any kind of assistance that he or she might need, 
offer it, you know. We got to be more providing to one another, you know. We got a lot of selfishness and, you know, uh, hatred inside of us for one another. Just, I don't know why. I don't know where it came from. But well, whoever responsible for, you know, for instilling that within us, you know, be it the white man or, you know, be it ourselves by having that crab in the barrel mentality. We trying to get over each other to, you know, to escape from the situation, wherever it comes from. That shit need to stop, man. See your brother as your brother. See your sister as your sister. You know what I mean? Other cultures, you know, we don't got no issue with them, man. We the best people in the world. You know, I can say that about black people. You know, we the kindest, most loving, most accepting and, you know, uh, supporting people of other motherfuckers, <laughs> you know, that you could imagine. Why not with ourselves? Why do I got to feel like, you know what I'm saying, when I'm in... Inglewood, I gotta watch my back a little bit more. You know, when I'm in a certain part of Compton, you know, I gotta keep my eyes peeled differently. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in a predominantly cheap Chicano area, uh, why do I have to, you know, move with my shit on my lap or, you know, feel like, you know, it, it's, it's extra tension on me because, you know, a motherfucker might approach me the wrong way. Y'all not my enemies, and I know that. I came to realize that, you know. Not talking about just masking my brothers and sisters. Y'all not my enemies. I don't see my brothers and sisters as my enemies. You know what I'm saying? I see, like, we just got to get somewhere together. And we got to start somewhere. You know what I mean? We just got to start dialoguing more. We just got to start being more honest, more open with one another. You know what I mean? More, you know, more real. You know, I don't try to be nothing that I ain't. You know what I'm saying? That's how I got to be who I am. You know, I wish everybody the best in life. You know, uh, man, go hard. Get what you got coming out this life, man. You know, but have a spiritual connection. You know, God to get you where you need to be. Believe that. You know what I mean? Uh, that's all I want to say, man. I just wanted to hop on here and, you know, just kick some game with y'all today, you know, because, uh, you know, I know we've been laughing these last couple of days. I might have did me, you know. <laughs> but uh, I will be back with my workout videos and all that, you know. I just let me know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting some uh, eyes and ears out there, you know, and I'm hopefully, hopefully I'm, I'm encouraging brothers out there, you know, to keep your health together, you know, sisters too. You know, keep your body together, man. Keep your, you know, mind, body, spirit. Stay strong. You know, we got to lead our youth. You know, we got to be there to, to, to strengthen our, you know, strengthen our communities. We got to be there pro to protect our women. You know, it's, it's a lot of shit that we obligated to do, that we have to be there to do. You know, and uh, like I said, keep your son with you. If you in any of them areas where it's detrimental at, and don't play no games, you know. And if you dirty when them people come up, you know what you got to do. Evade me, lose. And, uh, you know, if you get cornered, shit. Man, and you know the situation where you, where you, where you at. Come on, man. Nobody said this shit was gonna be easy. Life ain't easy. It's trials and tribulations all through this shit. Don't be no coward. You know, stand tall and strong, man. Life is beautiful, though. If you can avoid that shit, avoid it. I'm not encouraging nobody out there to do nothing that you don't want to do. You know? But I'm telling you what you need to do. You need to be a man. If you're a man, you need to be a man at all times. I don't give a fuck what situation you in. You know? So, uh, also, make sure you, also make sure you read, man. Bro, you're rising.
Yeah, that's a lot of rocks in here. I'll be perpetrating if I didn't, you know what I mean? Come on. But, uh, yeah, you know. Gonna have a little more content coming for you. You know, in the form of, uh, <coughs> in the form of a podcast that uh, my wife and I are putting together. She's going to have an extra treat for y'all, too, on her channel. Uh, like I said, I was just tapping in, man, you know. Let you know, man, never had a mind of a slave. I don't give a fuck what happened, how it happened, whatever. You know, it's a brand new day. We here now, we strong, and we just got to mobilize and unify and keep that solidarity building. You know what I mean? If we move as one then we unstoppable. You know, a lot of different races and cultures, that's how they operate. That's how they get angry. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, be two, three families living in the same house till, the, till one of them could move out and then the next one could move out and everybody pulls their weight. You know, know that you got to pull your weight in everything. I'm just ad-libbing and freestyling right now as far as, like, you know, my subject matter, but I'm hollering at all the real ones out there, you know what I'm saying, that know what time it is, you know, that might have went off track or, you know, might not be uh, contemplating any longer, you know, your position as a, as a man and as a, as a factor in your household. Man's supposed to be the king of his household. You know what I'm saying? Not unless you the son or, you know, the nephew or whatever, whatever. But the man that's paying the bills and, you know, making the ma major decisions in the house, you know, man, you, you, you got to leave there and outside. You got to be a shining example. And that's what I try to be as an example. I try to let my demonstration speak for itself. I'm not perfect. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a guru. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not any of them things that, you know, uh, people put titles to. I'm me. I'm big tradee. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm solid. You know, I, I got wisdom from my experiences and, you know, from my principles and my character. So I don't mind sharing that with y'all and, uh, when I have time to, but I'm building and grinding out here. And life is beautiful, you know, regardless of this COVID shit, I'm staying self-isolated. I'm moving with masks and gloves on, hoping everybody else out there staying safe. Let this shit pass and get out of here, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, let's get back to how it used to be. Uh, you know, got some more music coming for y'all, you know. Me and wifey putting something down on that too. Uh, Supreme Circle Music Group. That's what I push, DW Flame, on, on, the, on the come up. You know, uh, we dropping this shit within the next 30, 45 days. We deciding on the release date right now. Y'all gonna see them on some major interviews. And, uh, you know, that's what we pushing. You know, I'm putting my CEO hat on now, you know. I done dropped enough verses for y'all and enough songs for y'all to let y'all know my mind state and how I do it and how I get down. And uh, y'all really, if y'all fuck with me, y'all really already know, you know, wh where I stand on a lot of shit. You know, if it ain't solid, it ain't solid. If it is solid, let's get behind it and push it. No matter who, uh, bring it to the table. You know, I fuck with my black people. Y'all know that. I ain't scared to go nowhere. Y'all to see me in any of y'all hoods at any given time. You know, and I'm comfortable with that. If somebody coming at me, it must be for something personal that we had going on. Cause uh, you know, I don't even I don't even give off that vibe of that energy. You know, I ain't even tripping. I'm just keeping it gangster, representing who I am and where I come from and what I do. You know. I, I appreciate being able to get y'all the music I gave y'all, get these plaques on the wall. You know, uh, many more than these, you know what I'm saying? Uh, should be more to come. Uh, salute to everybody out there doing their thing, man. All my peers, all my people, 
you know, everybody that stands positive, you know, stands sharp and positive. And, and really trying to participate in getting us somewhere as a people, whether it be through your knowledge, you know, your finances, uh, you know, uh, wherever, you know, what, whatever your contribution is, it's, it's highly appreciated. And, uh, you know, keep doing what you do to stay elevated and stay ahead. Don't take no shorts in your life because it ain't none to take, you know. If you black, be proud of that. If you ain't black, you know, be proud of who you are. But I'm black and proud. You know, and it's Juneteenth, and I don't really do holidays and none of that and all that. But uh, I just felt to get on here today and just drop something, you know, that was on my mind, you know, concerning my people. You know, I love y'all. Shit, that, the world wouldn't be the same without black. You know what I mean? It just wouldn't. It wouldn't. Everything in the background and all this is black and it look good. I'm red and a motherfucker with freckles, but I'm the blackest motherfucker you'll probably meet when it comes to my heart and my courage and my love for my people. So everybody stay strong out there. You know what I mean? Uh, blunt went out. Keep doing the best in your life. That must mean it's time to slide out. God bless all y'all. G's up. Ah, Ricky Harris, rest in peace, cuz.